What it do, y'all? Bread Tuck Rob, Bread Tuck Gang Forever, Bread Tuck Legacy. Um, man, this beautiful Friday. Check this out, man. I read this article about a month ago. I've been meaning to get with y'all on this. Check this out, man. Let me turn the air on. It's a little hot out here, but check this out. Um, a black lady, 31 years old, she was in $220,000 worth of debt. Man, check this out. Inspirational story. All right, so she's in debt, man. She can't afford afford anything she has a boyfriend i think she's making thirty eight thousand dollars she lives in dc man she can't do anything she's check to check watch this um she's been meaning to go back home she was trying to think man should i go back and live at the house but her dad got sick so she went back to the house she took that as a sign to get back to the house so she goes back to her house i forget what city it's in but whatever city it was in it the cost of living was less expensive than washington dc anyway she moves there her boyfriend moves with her they they get married and as a marriage uh, as a wedding wedding gift her mom gives them this thirteen thousand dollar town home that she bought so she buys so she has this town home for free and you know what the girl's like man i'm in two hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of debt i gotta get out of this debt so somehow they collaborate her and her husband and they like man we not gonna live in this in this uh town home we gonna stay at the house with mom and them so they stay at the house they rent the town home out so they're able to send what they make from the town home um and add that with the money she was making from her salary and she and they paying on her loans bam 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 and she's like, okay, man, I'm putting a chunk in these loans, man. So they doing this and it becomes successful and they get enough money to where she could pay her loans and buy another town home. So they buy another town home. Now watch this. They don't rent the town home out. They, they, I mean, excuse me, they don't move in the other town home because now they have two town homes. They don't, they don't move in one and rent one. They're like, nah, we're going to stay at the house with mom and rent both of these joints out. So they remain with the same process. They continue that, man. They continue the same blueprint. Bow, bow, bow. They renting these town homes out, man. Long story short, in three to four years, uh, that woman paid off $220,000 worth of debt. Because she was able to send $10,000 a month. 31-year-old black lady, man, and her husband, man. They sent, they paid off her student loans in 200, excuse me, in four years, man. Now they can live life. They don't have that burden on them anymore. And I thought that was beautiful and inspirational. Now, the, the article didn't say if they're continuing doing that. Well, I'm sure they're continuing to buy new property because... They went from they 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 took themselves out of debt and 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 just doubling up on real estate, man. That's beautiful. So that's inspirational, man. And I had to share that story to say that, man, we have student loans. It makes you look like, man, what did you man, what am I really doing? Like my loans are at 15,000. That's nothing compared to everybody else. But I'm like, man, if this woman could grind and get that knocked off in four years, 220000 what am I doing, man? So I'm, I share this story to say, hey, man, if you're in student loan debt, be inspired, man. Get creative. Figure out ways to get that thing knocked out, man. If you got a lawnmower, you got to cut a, a bunch of lines, drive for Uber, get a get a camera and, and learn, teach yourself how to do photography, whatever, man. We got to utilize our skills to get ourselves out of debt and, and, and have the chance to become entrepreneurs and have the chance to to own real estate and take trips and do what we want to do, man. But that's all I wanted to share with you, man. Be inspired. I wish I had the sister's name on me, but the woman was 31 years old and took herself well with the assistance of her mother with that townhome because not all of us have mothers that are willing to give us townhomes but still we have to get creative man and take ourselves out of debt man i don't think god wants us running around here being slaves and being in bondage man bondage is weak man so i had to share that story to let you know man be inspired man and figure ways to get out of the pits of hell but y'all know what it is man it's beautiful friday afternoon man bread tuck rob bread tuck gang forever y'all mucho take it easy h-town all day